All right, we're also getting the Fenton Bowl. I want to show you guys by Farley family. I don't see any damage on the rose. It's pretty. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we are at our local Goodwill. We haven't been here in about a week. Um, in this episode, we're going to be doing a question and answer. So ask any question you want in the comments and the next video will be answering your questions. All right, let's get in there and see what we find for resale. All righty, here we are. I love the employees at this Goodwill. We always end up finding something. What is the color? Looks like blue. Let's get the blue cart. What's Michael looking at? Ooh, a coat rack. Thirty dollars is wood. Hmm. What is this tin? Oh, there's stuff in it. Studio fifteen oh one. It's a nice pine cone. Pine cone tree. It's paper mache. That's nice. Ooh, that's pretty. We got these dolls over here. Let's see about this. It doesn't blink or anything. What are those dolls called? Um, sleeping, sleep, sleepy dolls. Yeah, there's no marks on there. Look at this. That is um made to look like Raku pottery. And what do you do, RN? Look at this um bowl. We're trying to see if that is Fenton or not. It's $24.99. Ooh, I don't know. M. Wagner Fenton. Ooh. Also, it's an artist signed M. Wagner. We're going to have to take that out. Wait, well, let's look it up. Down here, look at these cute polar bears with a tea light holder. Then you have the penguins. Oh, I like those. I like the penguins. I wonder. Seven ninety nine. You have this art glass flower down here. What's back there? It looks like metal horses. All right. Once a employee gets over here, we're going to take some stuff out. Oh. We have Oscar perfume. I know some of their scarves could sell well. Sure. What else do we have? All right. Ooh, look over here. Oh, I like those. Look at the owls. <laughs> Tea light holder. Say underneath. Yankee Candle 2012. Oh, I like that. How much is it? Four ninety nine. Let's put that in here. Especially since it says Yankee Candle. Cute owls. What else do we have? Salt and pepper shakers made in Japan. It's all right. Um, a resin turtle. Probably a souvenir. Like that. The Mexican pottery. So we bought stuff like this before and it took forever to sell. Right, Michael? What about these dishes? It's all right. Have this train down here. It's a wood train. What is it? It says July 21st, sold for 70. 70 and it's 25. We can make some money off of that. I like this train. 
<laughs> have some nice vases up here. How about this one? Teacups and it has enamel on it. Oriental. It's only ten dollars half off. Have a jar. I think I saw that before. About this crystal pitcher. That's nice. Do we see any signatures? Not everything has a signature that's worth money, but I'm thinking that's um Shannon Crystal maybe. Oh look at this cute reindeer. CVS. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a lot of glassware. <clears throat> this carnival place. Hmm. Let's take a look. That's some newer carnival glass, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's the Carnival Glass Revival. <laughs> About this crystal bowl. Oh yeah, that's heavy. It's pretty though. Ah. Then we have an art glass. It does have a shiny bottom. $14.99. I almost feel like that's um, crystal clear. No, I like that. The yellow transition. Hmm. I might think about this. Nice design on there. A little wine stopper. What about this? Right. Ooh, this one is marked. Something France. This is a cool design. It says France also. All right. Here we have some nice canisters. Made in Brazil. That's different. This I would have to do the Google lens on. So I'm going to look that up. Let's take a look over here. Some etch glass votives. I don't even know if that belongs on in there. It's pottery votive. Ooh, that's a nice glaze on there and signed. What does that say? Something Neil. No, I like that design too. Nice um snack tray. About that, Mikasa. Pottery Barn. Ooh. This pottery crock. It's just a art project. These are nice bamboo candle votives. Oh, it's slipping. All right, I'll start from the top and then go down. <laughs> I like this one. Of course I would. Made in Spain, it's probably um San Miguel. Twelve ninety nine, that's a nice color. Hmm. Maybe this is Balik. No, made in China. <laughs> Nice porcelain plates. They're all right. 
teapot down here. That's a nice um, enamel. What's this say on the bottom? Calypso, England. Looks like it has some age to it. I like we have a little cheerleader ceramic. I found. Ooh, isn't it pretty? Ooh, look at the enamel on that. It's a cranberry glass. I think it might be might be antique enamel. It could be. Um, I would say Czechoslovakia. Could be. How much is it? Twelve ninety nine. Ooh. I think we'll get that and if it doesn't sell for a while, I'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep that for ourselves. <laughs> Any more glass? Our glass. Maybe these are Francoma. No. Anything down here? Look at this. A little Easter bunny canister. <laughs> Michael's running me over with a cart. <laughs> um, it has some chips in there, but that's kind of big. It's only $8.99. Okay. I don't know about that. Look at this uh, Coke bottle. It looks like it's um, stretched out. Now, from my memory, I could remember the selling for some money. I can't remember where I saw it. I'm going to put that in and look it up later. Let's see what else we have. Look at this teapot. Ooh, that's pretty. It's transferred. Sadler. I don't see any damage. That's pretty with the gold. $14.99 now. Some of them could sell for hundreds. So if this is one of them, I'm gonna get it. Check out the white section. We usually end up finding something. $6.99. It's missing its um. We have this pair. Organic collection. Looks like it possibly could be Lennox. That's pretty. Anything down here? We got the flower and the glass. It's an interesting teapot. Made in USA. Looks familiar. That's only 15 for the set. It's a ceramic. Nice glaze on that. It's shiny. Oh, that brand. Um, by Corning. Um, if you ever find the mugs, stackable mugs, they'll sell well. I think they're kind of rare to find. Cottage. Tea light holders. I thought maybe there were mini drinking glasses. <laughs> and we have a Ellie Smith Moon and Star compote. That's huge. It's clear though, so it's not as valuable. I don't know, how often do we find Ellie Smith? I'm gonna have to put that in. It's ten dollars. We have this crystal decanter. It's a nice design on it. What else is down here? They got the music blasting. Anything down here? Nice apple dish. That's nice. Have all these soup tureens. Don't fall, don't fall. Ironstone. Red. Cliff. 
I can't read it. <laughs> this one is half off or 40% off. I think that's false graph. Take a look at this one. Savino. I thought maybe that would be made in Italy. Try not to make it dizzy. Look at this hot pink um, tea set. Look, you get the teacups, the teapot, the creamer. I don't see a sugar. Tan painted. Almost looks like it would be a luster, but it's not. It's Germany. It's $30 for the set. Hmm. I like that. Ooh. Le Mange. Limoges, France, and it's um, stamped too. Not too much gold loss on that. $7.99. A little bit of scratches on the inside, but that's a pretty transfer pattern. Put that in. Some hand painted um, glasses. It's pretty pink. Stoneware made in Portugal. Ooh, what about these wine glasses? <laughs> they have a lot here. How much are they? Three ninety nine each. Hmm. Let me do a Google lens search quick. Okay, so this is the uh, Mikasa Park Lane. And this is the iced tea water glass, which sells for more. So I think if I get four, I could sell them for about, I want to say $60. So I'm going to do that. I think just four of them. I don't need all, all of these. So let's put that in. We're going to check for chips and whatnot. Chip scratches. Let me get the other two. I wish there were four dollars for this set. <laughs> Put that in. Oh, look at this popcorn. Oh, you have the shakers and the main bowl. Kind of like that. Table tops. A nice dish here. Danwick Royal Dalton, three ninety nine. We're gonna have to look that up. A lot of these patterns I don't really know, so course I made in USA. It's a nice bowl. I like the red on that. And they still have this um, Polar Express. <laughs> I thought it said 124. Okay. All right, this only sells for about $12. I mean, you could make some profit on it, but a lot of people have it listed, so it would take a long time to sell. Let's look over here. I like these grapes, I keep looking at them. About that, Blanca. Have some stainless steel mugs and a NIDA. Got the Halloween. This is still here. <laughs> oh, it's 40% off. It's definitely 80s. A nice Halloween truck. Right, what's down here? How about this dish? Reminds me of a uh, party light has a uh, oil design. I think I have the candlestick holders. And then I'm for that pottery. Oh, they're attached. Those are cute. 
Nothing down there. I see the hot plate back there. <laughs> All right, let's move on. See what's at the end caps. Some nice candlestick holders. Let's see what we have. It's a nice, um, looks like the 1940s. There's no mark on it. Kind of like that design though. You get the creamer, sugar. $20 for the set. Hmm. Michael. He'll Google lens that. I was trying to figure out <laughs> I didn't know it was that hard. Ooh, it's heavy too. Looks like there's a little mark there, number six. Hmm, it's missing the stopper though. Let's see what we have over here. Some dream catchers. $1.99 each. How about these wine glasses? Oh, it's some um, German wine glasses, and they're forty percent off. Pretty sure it's crystal. Yeah. Oh, and there's four of them. Maybe I'll get these. Put those aside. Michael has the cart. Sakura teapot. That's a nice glaze on there. I like that blue. This is still here. I love that bronze. We have this pottery. That's nice. Take a look at that vase. It looks like it's Japanese. Asian. Has a nice has enamel on it. That white is on the outside. That's pretty. We have this um Astoria Sugar Bowl, twelve ninety nine. It's Ridgeway. What's this? Ooh, a chip and dip bowl. That's some stink. Stink. So I can't read it. Let's go over to the big bowl. Come on over. Let's go this way. That's just over here. I, I don't know how I missed it. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, the big bowl has a little bit of damage. Does that go in there? Yeah. It's a big dip bowl, though. That's pretty with a red and gold. You know how I like red. So this is made by Starlet. Um, a lot of people have it listed and unsold. And they want $24.99 for it. So unfortunately, you got to leave it behind. That's okay, we'll find something else. Here's some art glass. Ooh, kind of looks like the end of the day. Made in China. Still pretty though, it has a metal rack around it. Got these snowflakes glasses. It kind of looks like it would have been Portugal. Harvest Stone 1991. It's only a dollar. Looks like it could be Dutch. That's pretty. It's mid-century. Not that. It has a Dutch design. Hmm. Look that up. What else do we have? An ice bucket. Oh, that's a candle. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> oh, some Fiesta. That, I believe, is newer. 
ten dollars for the set. About this, Michael. Fiesta. Oh, that is. I know you would have to look up the. That's newer. That's for the whole set. Yeah. Oh. That's not bad. Ten dollars for the set. So I found this bag of ornaments. These look like they could be silver plated. Yeah, they're definitely silver plated. For three ninety nine, I think I will get them. If any have these angel icicles, so I don't think that's bad for three ninety nine. Definitely get our money back at least. So let me put that in. It's rare when you find baggies here. So Michael found all these old Pepsi Cola bottles. Um, and what did you say about them? Um, they have to have two slashes or two dots. Okay. And that makes it older? I think so, and worth more. Oh, do we have any? No, I tried them all. Oh, this one's Canadian Dry. <laughs> We have another Debbie Mum. Debbie Mum. No, that's not. What about this doll? Asian doll. That's all right. Oh wow! Look at this stained glass snowman. Ooh, it's heavy. It's real glass. Oh, I like it. Is it real glass? Yeah. Oh, wow. It has a little crack there. It's a snowman with some candy canes. It's $20. Hmm. I feel like it's definitely worth more than $20. Ah. Let's see what we have in the art section. Ooh. And it's real. Oh wow. That's pretty. This one I like. Ooh. Oh, that one's signed. Bardot. That's a hundred dollars. How much is the smaller one? That one is 70, but that's worth it. They did a good job on it. Might have to look that artist up. What do we have down yeah. here? Place. Yeah, true. So big. Mm hmm. We have a lighthouse down here. Oh, that's heavy. It takes batteries. It's a waterfall. Ah, that's awesome. I never saw one that hangs on the wall. 40% off. Put that over here. We have some prints. The lighthouse. Morgan, 1996. Perfect for a beach house. I oh, look at the kitties. <laughs> Mother with its kittens. The Hope Collection. About this. It's a print. A litho, maybe a lithograph. Then we have some elephants. Some pressed flowers. It's um, called sunflower. 1995. Let's take a quick look in the kitchen section. A nice trivet here with pears on there. Handcrafted in Mexico. That's 40% off. I think I'll do that. Bombay, $10. Definitely looks vintage. I don't see any chubs. What do we have over here? Some silverware. 
something too special. Still trying to find my mom the um, rolling pin without the handles. That one has a nice colored handle. This one is older. We have a teapot. Oh, that one's Sadler too. And Glenn, it's just a drip glaze. They're not a drip glaze. $8.99. All right, let's put that aside. Make my pile here. I know some of these Tupperware can sell well, especially the vintage. Pottery Barn Kids. I've seen a lot of Pottery Barn. I don't know what you would put in there. Jewelry? Makeup? Now it's for kids. <laughs> All right. The chicken soup. The finest aluminum. Oh, that's nice with the gold. Made in China, mega wear. Ooh, down here I spot a cow. What did you call me? <laughs> oh lord. This one is nice. It's the cow on top. Made in Taiwan. Oh, it's very heavy. I don't, think, I don't think this would be good to resell though. Okay, so this is everything that we're getting. Some of the stuff we looked up and it wasn't worth picking up, but getting the Mikasa Park Lane, the German wine glasses, the silver plated ornaments, the enamel cranberry glass, and the Sadler teapot. Let's go check out. All right, we're also getting the Thunton Bowl. I want to show you guys by Farley family. But I don't see any damage on the rose. It's pretty. I love that pink. All right, guys. So our total spend at the Goodwill was $84. We forgot to do an outro inside our car. But we're going to turn the camera around. We're going to review everything we got. Okay, and first up, I spotted this beauty. Um, it's a Fenton Corsage Rose Bowl. Um, I got it for $24.99. This part is uh, ceramic. Uh, the rest is glass, hand-painted. Oh, I love Signed. This. And we're going to list this for $150. The only um, listing we saw on eBay was for $399. And then one for $65, but the rose is missing. So I think $150 will be fair. It will most likely take a best offer. Yep. Next is the Sadler teapot I love. It's the cube design. You have the beautiful flowers on there and the gold. Um, these still have to be cleaned. But it's marked on the bottom. Sadler, I believe the year is 1931. Um, uh, how much should we get that for? $14.99. Uh, Whoops, and <laughs> I have everything written down. I have to. Um, we're going to list that for $130 or best offer. And then this Michael found at a state sale. It is <clears throat> Indiana Glass Diamond Point Fairy Lamp. Yep, and that's already sold. Um, sold it for $40. $40. I, I think I got it for less than $5. Yeah, and that sold quick. So whenever you see fairy lamps, research it. If it's a good price, pick it up because it will sell fast. Um, next, Michael found this. I'll have you hold it. Um, Majolica plate. It's a leaf pattern. Oh, I love that blue and green. It's not marked in the back. It usually says Majolica. Oh, right. This one isn't. Yeah. It does look like Majolica on the back and it has a hole there to hang it up. I don't, I don't know if I would 
I don't know if I would hang that up though. It looks nice just like that. Next is the um, Shot Crystal German Wine Glasses. Uh, we spent 40% off of $10. We got a set of four. We're going to list those for $62. And then the Mikasa Water Goblet. We spent $3.99 each. And this is the Park Lane pattern. And we're going to list those for... I believe $60. I have to do more research on that. Okay, next we're gonna show the cranberry glass enamel dish. <laughs> Our I cat. The Speedy. Um, I got it for $12.99. I really love the cranberry color with the enameling, and the enameling's in good condition. Yeah, usually it's not. Is, that's for um, powder? I, I believe. Think so. Or just a jar. Okay, and make sure when you're removing this tape to run it under hot water so you don't take off the paint. Because I've done it before and I was sad after. <laughs> but I can't wait to research this and list it. Alright, so that is it for tonight. I'm going to make some coffee and eat it. Yep. <laughs> um, and don't forget to ask your questions and we'll answer them in our next video. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.